execute and this is good and now I'm gonna open Visual Studio and I'm gonna create a new project adds a web form select Azure and I forgot there's nothing in the database so let's um, insert something as well so add web form insert in Azure and right here on the code behind on page load I need the connection string so string con string equals something I'm gonna go back to my Azure and right here on the show database connection string I'm gonna copy again the ado.net connection string and this is almost the connection string that I'm looking for except that it's not grievous it's the database user that I created which is web user and the password is and then the next step is create a connection and the connection needs this line 3 using then I'm gonna open the connection now create the command and I hate to type the command so I'm gonna go back to my database and on the database I'm gonna right click in script table s insert to new query editor and this is the query that I'm looking for I'm gonna copy this entire string and back to Visual Studio so this is my query So for the first name, I'm going to have Joe, for the last name is going to be Doe, username JD, the password ABC123. And the address cool streets some city email jd at jd.com and finally his phone number is one two three one two three So this is my query. Now create a command. Alright, so if I oops, forgot the query right here. And now I'm going to set as a start page. And if I run this code this information should end up on Azure database so I'm gonna run it and we're not gonna see anything on the page but we should see something on Azure whenever you run the database good nothing shows I'm gonna go back to my SQL Server Management Studio and now I'm gonna right click on the person and the script tables as select new query editor 
execute and good the information we sent is here now I'm gonna do the same thing but now I'm gonna read and that's gonna be on the select Azure Azure on the page load again I'm gonna do the similar code you also need to insert the using system.data.sql client I'm gonna create a reader in here I just get everything from the reader and finally I need a label to display the data in here LBL dot text equals the temp now set the select Azure page as your start page and I'm gonna run this thing and if everything is alright we're gonna read the data from Azure database right here into this page nope no that's not very good oh I'm using the wrong yep I mean so I'm using the wrong query so instead of seeing searches select everything from my bad alright now this should work yep good so one page inserts and the other page reads from Azure so really not that difficult there is a lot of things you have to do in order to make this work and if you try yourself repeat exactly what I did here otherwise it's not gonna work and another problem that I had is that when I was trying to when I first logged in on Azure you wanted to charge me you wanted my credit card information even though I'm using a DreamSpark account and if you have a DreamSpark, it's supposed to be free. So to solve this problem, I opened a ticket with Microsoft and they fixed it real quick for me. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is somehow easy and you can do it.